What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another episode of Larkin Motors TV. Today we have a pretty exciting episode and I want to start things off by saying shout out to CJ Pony Parts and JLT Performance because today is the day we're doing our first mods Hooray! to the 2020 Shelby GT500. First mod for basically every car is either an exhaust or a cold air intake and we're starting off with the JLT cold air intake we already did the unboxing I know I know that you guys favorite part but we were excited so we opened it up and took a look and uh, so what we're gonna do first to start the video off we're gonna throw the Shelby on the dyno so we can get base numbers with the air temperatures today and then we're gonna go ahead take that ugly son of a gun out and we're gonna put the JLT in the car and we're gonna do a base pull or a pull after the JLT is on the car and we're gonna see what it lays down for horsepower hopefully we get the horsepower gains that are advertised but you know looking at the looking at the restriction on this the closed box and then going to the JLT I mean look at the size of the filter on this thing it is an absolute unit it's about the size of this unit right down here he don't like it though what it's too much air too much air flow <laughs> all right guys we're gonna get the shelby on the dyno josh is over there setting it up and we're gonna get some base numbers for you guys and then uh we'll do an install all right guys so along with getting the horsepower on the dyno jet shout out to the guys at dyno jet we're gonna monitor the intake air temps here on the dash but um you know that would be another good thing to watch along with horsepower gains because cold air means the engine's working efficiently means you're making more power so uh we're gonna go ahead get the car strapped up on the dyno and we're gonna do some stock pulls and like i said the plan is we're gonna do two consecutive pulls on the stock air box get the numbers from there when we put the cold air intake on we're gonna wait like a half hour 25 minutes let the car cool back down to where it is now and then we're gonna do two pulls in a row so the goal is to see the average intake air temps stay low and of course see the average horsepower go up so uh, we're gonna get it hooked up and we'll be right back with you Look at our poor girl. Look at her. The GoPro doesn't pick up light good, but oh my god. She needs a bath. Boss man's been treating her right. We got her all hooked up. We're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna do two runs right back to back. So I'm gonna fire up the fan and let's do it. real quick that was the first run we got 673 and 539 uh, like I said we're just gonna run it right back Alright guys, so 
Uh, that is run number two, and if Josh can pull up the graph for me, it was like it was basically the exact same. It was six seventy three oh three for the second one, and for the first one, it was six seventy three point two seven. Uh, we picked up a little bit of torque on the second one. Ambient air temps were are 79 degrees, 79 degrees. And we're in Massachusetts, so there's no altitude or anything like that to worry about, even though DinoJet does factor that all in. Just wanna let you guys know the details. Um, but the plan is we're gonna let this beast cool down, get back to kind of the temperatures we were running at when we did the first two pulls. We're gonna install the JLT and I'll walk you guys along as me and Josh do that. And then we're gonna do the same thing, two rapid pulls with the intake in and hopefully we're picking up horsepower. All right guys, so we're just getting everything disconnected here. Important stuff to Josh. And look at Jeff has just been driving the car, not letting me film content. It's, it's pretty disappointing. I think this may be our first look at the uh, stock unit here, so. They got the Ford Performance yellow in there for you. Look at that thing, it's already got some junk in it. Filthy. Don't read the directions, but I'm pretty sure we gotta pop this Shout out to the boys over at JLT yeah. for the instructions, but as you know, we don't yeah. need those where we're going. It takes out. All right, just like that. All right, so we got Dooley here doing a little side-by-side -side for the boys. Use the RX-8 as our platform. We got the OEM Ford made in the US of A. So is JLT though. Just saying, just saying. But we got the, uh, like I was saying, Ford Performance little guy against the JLT unit. Obviously, more airflow going through the JLT, which is this one. Pretty easy to see. But we're gonna go ahead and get the JLT put in the car. Do a couple rips, hopefully. Hopefully she's putting up numbers. JLT all installed the way they designed it is so the stock air box didn't fill this compartment completely so this way it just has more room to breathe um, and it's super sturdy bigger intake pipe all around just a way better product than stock so we're excited to see what it does on the dyno I'm gonna go ahead fire up the fan and let's do a couple pulls Holy smokes, it winds so much more with the new intake on, which that's obviously a good thing. Uh, so on that, we got 696. I just shut off the fan real quick so we could talk to you, but we're gonna go ahead and do another pull. Buddy, hey, Dooley, I'm trying to film here. No more fighting. <laughs> All right guys, so I don't know what happened on that last poll. We lost RPM signal, so we went ahead and just took it off the graph because it was blank numbers and we're not gonna run it again because now she's definitely gonna be heat soaked after three runs, you know, and that will skew the numbers. But we were able to gain 23 horsepower off simply taking out the old intake and putting in a new one. Like I said, it literally took 15 minutes and no tuning, no nothing. You're gaining 23 horsepower when you're already up, you know, around 700. 23 is a lot and it's a 
you know it's a s simple mod to add to the vehicle and it's adding that much horsepower with basically no work so um, shout out to the guys at JLT shout out to the guys at CJ Pony Parts uh, for making this happen and providing us with the product to make this video for you guys and also for letting us add it to the Shelby you know our goal with this car is somewhere around a thousand horsepower eventually and we're already 23 horsepower closer so again thank you guys shout out to JLT go to the link in our description and check out all the products they have for all kinds of different vehicles and head over to CJP's website to see everything they have because they have everything for you know years and years and years of Mustangs and they just launched an off-road line or off-road website head over check them out but just like that guys this video is over thanks for tuning in to Larkin Motors TV make sure you smash the subscribe button like the video see you in the next one peace